All right, so what you're trying to do is get a frame generator here and get it cut to the length and then get the dimension from basically the end tip here to there rather than actually getting it the whole 24 length, which goes to the inside. Uh, a little more accurate cut. Um, so just kind of playing around with this thing and see if I can do something cool for you. So if I select this, I'm going to delete that and... I'm going to put this at 45. So when we come back, it's going to kick this over. So it looks like we have this crazy cut, and what you'd want is a dimension from here to the tip of right there. So I'm going to dive into this part. Go to ROYZ plane, start a sketch, and project the geometry of this outside little edge here, and it'll give us this little curve. So when you actually look at the YZ plane, you can see that's where it is. So I'm going to draw a line to there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to draw a line like that. I'm going to project the geometry of this top edge. I'm going to make these two parallel. And I'm also going to make this tangent. Now I'm going to draw a dimension from the top to here, and I'm going to finish my sketch. Go up to our parameters, find it, which is here, name this cut length. I'm going to export the parameter here, return, return. All right, so now if we come and we make our new drawing, put our base down, and then we annotate it with our parts list. Come into here, go to our column chooser, do a new property, click to add a new property, call this one cut length, okay, and we'll add it into here, okay, there you go. So now you have your cut length and your distance. So if we want to test it, dimension from here to this outside line should be the same. So one five, one five. Now if we go back to our part here and we come back to our sketch and change this to our 90 and return, we'll update and it sticks to it. So if we go to our wireframe view, you can see now it's on the bottom here, and it gives us our cut length. Go back to our notch pipe, 22.715, which is that dimension. It's six. So it looks like something's goofy. Let's check it out. I'm kind of doing this on the fly, so we'll see. Okay, so hmm, interesting. So it doesn't go out to the tip here, but it still projects it. Can't explain that. Because hmm. if I go to this sketch, I project that. Um, the other way I was looking at doing it is if we create a sketch on the side here to that plane, draw a sketch on it, and then also do project cut edges of that, 
Um, oops. Okay. So that's the actual straight dimension, and then we could do uh, let's call it this one. So that's the seven one six. So that's the actual dimension. And what happens if we change? This to sixty. So our sideline, did that work? Okay, it's going to up here because it only comes to the side. Whereas this one goes down, but that one's now correct. We just have to come in and delete this tangent and put it back on to the lower part. It should work. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> that's kind of a roundabout way to do it, but uh, that way you can get your cut lengths however you want to do it um, and bring it in that way. So it's a, it's a weird workaround depending on if it's angled or straight. Uh, if it's straight up and down, you can just do it on the side. If it's angled, you can do it through the center and project the edge. Um, so I hope that helps.